230 bucks. We're back at our nerd locker and I'm pretty excited. I mean, hey, geek is chic right now. This is in like seven boxes. What is it? I don't know. It looks important. Let me see the envelope. Holy crap, what? Star Trek official props replica. Shut your face off. I can't off. shut my face. Did you know I could do this? I did know you could do that. <laughs> what do you say when you do this? I don't get laid either. Chicks are overrated. My mom thinks I'm cool. Live long and prosper, dummy. What is this? Telephone, I'm going to say. Does it look kind of like a? Is it your voice has to get that high pitched? It's the Star Trek communicator, duh. Who are they communicating to? The green These are awesome. Look at this. Doesn't even make a noise, what the f It's for display, it's not to play with. I know Jared hates these, but I can't wait to geek out and see if they're worth anything. It's worth getting checked out, that's for sure, but it may. Drain the cool right out of you? It's too late. You weren't cool to begin with. Okay. I hate to break it to you. Okay. Because you can't do this. We're taking these prop replicas to some diehard Trekkies at the Japanese Gardens in Van Nuys, also known as Starfleet Academy. This is awesome. I assume that you guys are the ones that we're looking for. Yeah, yeah. If you're looking for a Trekkers. What's up, guys? Trekkers? Next Generation Star Trek is Trekkers, and then uh, original series might be Trekkies. I just like Star Trek. I don't believe in no labels, man. Yeah. Score a lot of chicks with that outfit? No, no. I don't. Aha! Uh -huh. yep. Yep, 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 sure. Yeah, that's a next generation phaser. What Actually, does it do? You point it at an alien adversary and then you incapacitate them with it. Yeah, I'm into it. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought that was. That's original series. This yeah. This is the communicator. They communicated with handheld devices in the old shows, but in the newer shows, the badges are what you use to communicate. Huh. So, like a cell phone. And it's got the motorized more pattern. That's a more. Yeah. Uh -oh. Great. Yeah, so let's take a look at the certificates, because there were different editions. So. OK. Oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. We got a William Shatner signature edition. I think these guys might have just Shatnered themselves. OK, so what do you think it's worth? In Earth currency? Yeah, currency. Earth currency. Mm -hmm. Based on the condition and the fact that you have Shatner's autograph, I'd say for both of them, $4,000. What? Shut your face. Four grand is amazing. I might just cling on to these. Boom! $300 was a little too much on this unit, so I'm about to work extra hard to make a profit. Let's get to it, Ivy. Sleeping cots, five bucks, five bucks, five bucks, $15 worth of sleeping cots. Trash can, two bucks. Starting off real slow here. Hope it gets a little bit better. $300 for this unit and another 100 for gas. Ugh, I ain't making a profit no matter how you look at it. $10 bed frame. Absolutely nothing for the mattress. Ugh, whoa. Hey! Looky here. Woo! Beautiful. Look at that. I'm not sure what it's worth. I'm not sure of anything. The only thing I'm sure of is it's heavy, and I like it a lot, and it may be the coolest item I've ever found. I got what looks like a ship's wheel. Now I just need to find the ship. Bet you any of you suckers go by a storage unit today, Ivy's the only one that found this. Captain Blackbeard Ivy, sell the 20 Cs. Hey, Bruce, how you doing? I'm taking my ship's wheel to the Los Angeles Maritime Institute. I'm going to see if it's the real deal. Look at that. My wheel bigger than yours. Yeah. Big wheels for a big guy. And they always got to have rims on your wheels. I think this wheel. If it could talk, it'd tell us quite a story. There's usually a, a maker's mark that gets stamped into them, or a, uh, and a date that they're made. And I don't see anything on this side. It, it does look like it's a real ship's wheel. Uh-huh. Probably the boat that this might have been on was lost. It's common when you scrap a boat to um, take the wheel. What it really comes down to for me is what the value is. Well. Without the maker's mark and the year on it, it's really tough to say. But it's a real ship's wheel, for sure, so it's authentic. With the right buyer, you could probably find somebody that give you 1500 for it. Woo, yeah, $1,500 for a steering wheel? Now I just feel like a pirate. Arr, matey. <laughs> Me and my wheel, we got to roll. It was nice, man. I think this 
locker's gonna pay off big. I got a tingling feeling about it. Got a brand new little weed eater. That's a hundred bucks right there. Brand new cord, too. Ooh. Xbox, a beat up one. Probably 20 bucks right there, though. 75 bucks worth of clubs right there. That's a float tube, bro. Yeah, that float tube for fishing. That thing's worth 200 bucks. I'm sure we got another 50 bucks on the freezer and another 100 bucks on the washer. There's something right here. Look at this, dude. Oh, boy. This is a Japanese board game, Mario Brothers. Oh. 1986 Nintendo. That is cool. Well, wait a minute. We got all kinds of little collectible Marios and stuff. Look at this, dude. Let me see. It's just gobs and gobs of the little Mario dudes. Look at that. Yeah, and you don't want to open these these no. up because they're all taped. Look at, see, they're taped yeah. on the ends. It's good. Woo! Mint in the box. We need to get that checked out. I'll yeah, bet. this is big time. So this is where I came in quite a while ago with that Nintendo game, and the guy pretty much seems to know his stuff. My Nintendo connection, he's got to geek out when he sees this Mario Brothers game. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing? It's my son, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon this Hi. is Jason. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, sir. I recognize this. These are board games based off of the uh, Super Mario franchise. This particular board is Super Mario Brothers 2. It was the second game in the series. The players would build like an environment that they would play in the game. This is fantastic. I have seen one and three, but not two. The one you have right here is, in my opinion, one of the rarest. Wow, so I have a rare number two. It's just absolutely amazing. What do you got in the case? Uh, well, first I want to point out that is an old vinyl Nintendo case. Yeah, look at that. Nintendo. I like what's in here. These are fantastic. God, you got a ton of them. Well, this one looks open. Let me see what's in here. Right? Oh, there you go. These are little dioramas. It looks like you have Luigi in there. A small Luigi, yeah. And behind him looks to be, is that a mushroom man, a toadstool? Looks like Mario. No, it's a toadstool. Yeah. I don't have the foggiest ass clue to what you guys are even talking what? about. You need to play video games with your kid. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You know, the bottom line for me is, what's all this worth, Jason? Um, I know that you're looking at a, a sizable chunk. I think what you got here, you're looking at 700 here, easily, today. 1,000 here. But, nice. Thank you, Mario and Linguini. 1,700 bucks is a good day. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Hear me? Yeah. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!